Hello there, Mikey Reader here, founder and creator of the Conscious Wealth Institute. And today I want to talk to you about a critical component of you achieving your wealth and success. I truly believe that we all come here with a purpose, a mission. And until you actually get on that purpose and that mission, your results are going to be limited at best. And even if you do get good results, it's likely that they will all actually come crashing down around your ears because you're not on your mission. And when you are on your mission, when you're on purpose, it's incredible how things conspire in your favor. It is not the entire answer. I don't believe that finding your passion, your purpose and being on mission is the entire answer to you achieving what you want to achieve. It's a very complex process and it takes time and effort. That's, that's the bottom line. It does take time and effort. But the thing is, when you're on your mission, that time and effort, it just, it's irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant. Because you love what you're doing so much. You have this sense of fulfillment and satisfaction even before you've achieved the result that you want to achieve because you're actually doing what you're meant to be doing. So a critical part of your success is owning your brilliance. And this is so, so important to you realizing what you want to achieve in your life. And how do you recognize your brilliance? How do you understand what your mission, what your purpose is? Well, there's a few things that will point you definitely in the right direction and give you the, the keys and the guidance to you being on mission. The first thing is, what do you absolutely love to do? What do you love to do so much that you would do all day, every day, regardless of whether somebody was paying you or not? And this thing that you love to do is in service. It's of service to people. It's helping people in some way to improve and enrich their lives. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be a personal development guru. There may be a product out there that helps people to enrich and, um, and uh, engage in life in a more fulfilling way and satisfy their needs, wants and desires. So what is it that you can provide that you love to provide and that you love to do that is of service to others. Another key is, what do people compliment you on that you have been dismissing for most of your life? This is something that's called our unconscious competence. So it's something that we're really, really good at that comes so easily to us and that other people recognize when we do it, we do it really, really well, but we dismiss it because it's so easy. It's always been easy. And it's something that you have been doing ever since you were a little child really, really easily. But the reason you dismiss it is because you don't think it's a gift. You don't recognize it as something that is of value to others because you think, well, that's really easy. How could it be of value to others? The critical point here is that it's not easy for everybody. It's easy for you. It's something that you just do naturally. It's your gift. It's your talent. It's what you, part of what you are meant to be doing here on the planet. So what is it that you find really, really easy that you love to do and that other people compliment, compliment you on when you're doing that? Another thing that you can look for is when have you been in flow in the past and things just seem to happen easily and effortlessly? When were you getting great feedback from the world on what you were doing? So this is another part of the, the unlocking the mystery of when you're on pur purpose, when you're on your mission, when you're on path, is that there have been times in your life where you have just been in flow and things have seemed to just happen with ease and grace. Actually recognize those times. Think about them very deeply. Write them down. When did you feel at your happiest doing something and set, starting to actually see results? What happens is we start to see results, but because we don't recognize it, we get distracted and we move on to something else. We don't actually realize that that is a part of what we're meant to be doing. That is a part of our mission and our purpose. And we don't recognize and see how that can bring us the riches, the wealth, 
the freedom, the happiness that we truly desire and deserve. But they are absolutely, um, they are turning points. Those particular um, events where you were and times where you were in flow, that is your guidance. After you've watched this video, make time to find out what your mission and your purpose is, or at least get some insights as to what your mission and your purpose might be. You may not find it right here, right now, but be open to discovering it. So if you don't have time to spend right down actually thinking about those three points that I've just mentioned, make time in your diary. So get your diary out, whether it be on your phone or an actual physical diary, find some time in your diary and pencil in at least an hour to contemplate and think about those things because that is when miracles will happen for you. That is when the universe turns up to support you the most when you are on mission. Will it be challenging? Yes. I, I absolutely guarantee that it will be challenging, but miracles will happen to help you to overcome those challenges. It will be fulfilling, satisfying. It will give you ultimately the freedom and um, the, whatever you truly desire and deserve in life. And if you're not a part of our Conscious Wealth community yet, then please go and visit ConsciousWealthInstitute.com where you can register for tools, information, techniques, regular updates to support you and help you to move forward in your life, on your mission, on your path and achieve the wealth, happiness and freedom that you truly desire and deserve. I look forward to seeing you in one of my next videos. Take care and bye for now.